Someone who doesn't like clowns and this motel, it's full with clowns and there are loads of people went here, like Sam Kobe who went here I think twice and yeah, so it's one of these things like I, for me, who doesn't really like clowns and this motel is, as I said, it's just filled with clowns and if you've got fear of clowns, I will say do not watch this video and this hotel is actually built on a cemetery and it's got a cemetery next door to it and I will get into that in a second it's like really creepy to say and this hotel is actually haunted and part of this hotel it claims to be America's scariest motel do I believe this? probably not because I've seen lots of videos on this and I've just seen lose of photos of this, videos and that kind of stuff and I don't think this is one of the scariest ones and it's supposed to be a thriving community on like this hotel and with this cemetery what I will be talking about now it was back in 1901 and the famous cemetery next door to the Clown Motel was founded in 1901 but was closed 10 years later so in 1911 this actually closed Hong, who's the victim of the Topog Pig and I will talk about that in a second as well was well uh, as the 1911 Bell Mine Fires and the most Logan who was shot whilst trying to save others in the birth and with all of the what's going on it's like like in the span of that couple of years it's like wow it's like really it's like everything was happening like so quickly and someone who's kind of fascinated about cemeteries there's actually cemeteries is actually quite small among other there was George Evil David the first American American Tulip, I think I'm pronouncing that right, he was murdered by his wife who was shot in the back. Also saved a prison sentence of only one year doing and also with this being so like famous in America, the mine fire and this started in 1911 so when the was still around and when the cemeteries just starting to open in the early hours of February the 23rd and there was a fire deep down in the mines when in the newspaper the day reported has been started at the 1166 feet fall and as I said it's all beginning to start and it's just this area where it's like fires, plagues in 1995 only a couple of years before I was born and um, Bob and Deborah brought the um, clam motel to all guests who was passing through the motel and took like the time to mention what a great host he is when even their reviews and stuff and does overall it's like really fascinating because I did not know this there were obviously there are got new owners now I just want to squarely say they got new owners now I forgot what they called but they got new owners and stuff and I did not know this like all of this information while I told them about it is and it's just like overall it's just fascinating to hear and see because it's like I always want to go here to sleep if obviously with this hotel was actually famous and lots of people like big new shapers went here you got the paranormal team i've got no no iron tv but i can't think of the name hopefully we'll leave them down below and on screen but they went here and they have um a paranormal experience here and mean sort of clown he um corner he and the clown um actually moves the hands and, and that's just really creepy to me to think a clown move the hands and i want to tell you story here as a um, as a child in my primary school i think my primary school yeah in my primary school they gave us um tickets to see Chris and funny enough I cried and the clown looked at me and pointed at me and I just don't cry then I did not like, I did not like clowns back then as a child uh, now I'm just got used to it and I love clowns I love watching 
you know, horror movies, backgrounds, stuff, but if I see one outside, you normally I will run because I don't see, like, uh, for me, I don't like seeing clowns outside, I just don't. And seeing movies about them, fine, videos, fine. But seeing them outside, no, just no. So in 2017, this um, hotel got up to for sale now, and more than 20 years afterwards, lovely looking after the clown motel, and with um, Bob decided it's time to retire and enjoy some free time with his wife, five daughters, three sons and 14 grandchildren, yes. 14 grandkids, yes. Motel, it's um, gone up sale with asking price of put a tea to up here and owners keeping it running and with over 2,500 clowns within in this motel and yeah so it's like pretty interesting fact I know I'm a flu just so I hope you enjoy this one remember to subscribe like and comment and follow me on Instagram and TikTok I will leave them down below and I will see you in the next one bye <laughs>